orientation. I think it's a really nice school. Today at freshman orientation, incoming students enjoyed what's been decades in the making, a brand new Fairmont Heights High School. You know, this has been a long time coming and they deserve this. Mario Williams is a teacher in Fairmount, but back in 1986, he too was a freshman walking the halls of the old school. There is a lot of history that I'm reminded of every time I step foot in this building. He's one of the many keepers of the school's rich history. Students had to come from all parts of the county to go to one of only two high schools that African-American students could attend, the other being Frederick Douglass. In 1950, Prince George's County built Fairmont Heights High to educate African-Americans. It was the first public school built with county money. Other black schools in the county were built with private funds. There was Lakeland High School, there was Douglass, and there was Highland Park. All three of only which only went to the 11th grade. Fred Smith graduated from Fairmount in 1963. It was the first high school for black students that actually went all the way to the 12th grade. In the 70s, desegregation of schools led to an influx of white students. Soon after, many white families left Prince George's and the school returned to being predominantly African American with few changes to the building in its 66 year history. Well, they didn't have everything, you know, um, being the black school in the county. Now Fairmont Heights has a new $93.7 million building. So they're going to get hands on experiences that inner city kids don't get that opportunity to have. The former school is a registered historic site. The goal is to preserve it although its students are moving on. All the tradition and the legacy of this building still needs to be a part of Prince George's County. When the brand new Fairmont Heights High School opens tomorrow, it will welcome nearly 700 new students. In Heightsville, I'm Tracy Wilkins, News 4.